The airport gateway project isn't just about making the trip to the airport look better, it's about making it smoother too. I'm Terry Gilliam, your Southwest Tallahassee neighborhood reporter at Tallahassee International Airport. I see how a land deal between the city and Blueprint are making the road to completing this project smoother. Uh, this is my first time at this airport, so, but it, we didn't have any problems today. Joseph Lowbridge and his friends are college students and say they're avid travelers. They tell me they navigated in and out of TLH easily. The city and Leon County have a plan to make sure all travelers do and continue to improve it. It's a transportation project I've been covering for months. The Blueprint Intergovernmental Agency is building what it calls the Airport Gateway Project. It's a plan designed to make getting to and from the Tallahassee International Airport much smoother for neighbors catching flights. But part of the project includes enhancing Spring Hill Road. The city of Tallahassee owned the land. Recently, Blueprint asked to buy the land for $133,000. The city voted unanimously to do so. And in this instance, uh, it was identified that in order for that project to be successful, the city had to transfer that property to Blueprint as a part of the project. I hope that it will be a beautiful uh, entrance and exit to and from the airport to our beautiful city. City Commissioner Curtis Richardson also told me he does not think the current entrances into the city reflect what Tallahassee is all about and what she'll become in the near future. We want this project to reflect that. When I told Joshua and friends about the plan, they tell me it's always good to improve no matter what. Like yeah. Mm -hmm. so the city also says the move to sell the property to Blueprint would prevent future conflicts between the city facilities and the project. In Southwest Tallahassee, Terry Gilliam, ABC 27.